Toyota and Subaru are working on a mysterious car, but also Toyota is investing hundreds of millions of dollars to boost gas engine production, investing hundreds of millions of dollars in V6 engine. Now, it may seem out of step with the industry's march towards electrification, towards electric cars, but consumers apparently still want more V6 engines. And I'm going to tell you the details of this and why Toyota is doing that and what's going on with Subaru, that mysterious car. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or electric vehicle story. And also, if you find this report informative, please uh, give us thumbs up, like this video, and share in social media, Facebook, Twitter. That will help us tremendously. S uh, Sean Shimovsky reports in CNET's Roadshow, writing, It's not all hybrids and electric cars, folks. Far from it, he says. <laughs> in fact, Toyota needs more gasoline-powered engines. And and not its most uh, and not not its most frugal inline uh, force either on thursday the automaker said it's making a 210 million dollar investment into its plant in buffalo west virginia to increase the output of v6 engines now we all would think that toyota would go to the direction of electrification work something on that because it seems like everyone but apparently people are still demanding v6 engine now it's good news uh, sean writes for employment in the state since toyota will need to hire another 100 workers on staff to build out a new third shift to run at the site. Toyota said the plant's also busy cranking out engines for the super power, uh, popular RAV4, so it will require the added workforce for expanded V6 engine production. The uh, monies will especially help create a flexible production line with new machinery and equipment on the V6 engine line. It's a gas engine, of course. Toyota said the move will allow the company to better respond to higher demand at its various plants building cars with the six cylinder engines across the United States and Canada. There will be another 5,900 engines coming out of the plant each month for a grand total of more than 70,000 per year. It's a pretty clear sign that Toyota also sees value in gasoline engine production even as the industry shifts to electrified powertrains. We're still far from mass EV adoption at that. Similarly, recently, Toyota revealed the X-Prologue and uh, nothing was done with an electric car from Toyota, at least not yet. Last week, Toyota announced a new model with the X-Prologue. Uh, EFR suspected and Torque News also suspected that first passenger car, this will be Toyota's first passenger car with an electric drive behind it. Uh, after the revelation disillusionment spreads among us, Toyota still does not offer an electric car. In the video, we see that Toyota Mirai hydrogen car is being tested in Toyota's released videos. The Japanese manufacturer Toyota consistently relied on fuel cells and hybrids when it comes to alternative drives and currently does not have a pure electric car on the shelf. In this country only, in, uh, the Toyota Proas uh, electric minibus in Germany, which was presented last year, has so far been announced for 2021. Now, last week, Toyota raised hopes for an electric car by announcing a new study called the X Prologue, but it was the new IGO that was hid behind the teaser picture. But we're still expecting that in April Toyota will ex um, uh, and unveil its first electric car, which I have reported several days ago. But now Toyota and Subaru will jointly announce something mysterious and quick. It's a coupe, a hot uh, hatch, or something else. We don't know. Tune in on April 5th. Uh, Autoblog report that Toyota owns 20% of Subaru and the two Japanese car makers are working on several joint projects together. In fact, I think their first electric vehicle is going to be together too and we don't know if this is it or no. One will be unveiled online in April 2021 and the partners released a preview image that asks more questions than answers. Posted on the dedicated page of Subaru's Japanese website, the photo shows the caption Let's make ever better cars together. 
accompanied by an image of each company's logo. Um, uh, audible, uh, presumably looking at the front end of the car, scrolling down reveals that it will be presented by the head of Toyota's Go Fast Kazoo Racing Division. What immediately comes to mind is the long awaited next generation AD6. Subaru unveiled the second generation BRZ in light to late 2020, and we can't wait to drive it, but we haven't seen Toyota's version of the car yet. Um, unf unverified reports claim that it has been delayed until 2022 at the earliest to give engineers time to differentiate it from the Subaru model. If they are true, the coupe isn't um, what Toyota and Subaru will jointly unveil in April. It also seems slightly odd that Toyota would ask for Subaru's help in presenting the 86 to the world, uh, let alone underline the connection. Uh, design cues, Autoblock says, fuel our doubts too. While we don't know what the next 86 will look like, we're seeing enough for the new BRZ to tell that its hood line doesn't quite match the one seen in the preview image published by the two brands. Of course, that's assuming uh, what we see in the photo is what we will be presented online in less than two weeks. If it's not the 86, there are several other possibilities positioned all over the probability spectrum rumors that echoed across the internet in early 2021 claimed Toyota and Subaru were pulling their resources to design a uh, rally bread hot hutch with all-wheel drive and a not insignificant amount of power under the hood. On the Subaru side, this project could spawn the first WRX STI hatchback in several years. On the Toyota side, it might morph into a born-again Celestia. Uh, Celisa. The company renewed its trademark for the decades-old Celisa or Celica nameplate in January 2021, after all. We've seen next-generation WRX test mules out and about, so the model is around the corner, but nothing seriously suggests there is another Celisa on its way. Unfortunately, we are skeptical, though we can't rule it uh, out entirely. Moving away from the enthusiast-friendly side of the scale, a joint project that that's been confirmed is a rough or sized electric crossover that will ride on a new platform. I reported this and it's coming in April, I believe. It will be sold by both brands and each variant will wear a specific design. We doubt this is what's being previewed. However, we don't know. I personally don't know. First, we don't think it's quite ready for production. Second, it would be very odd for Toyota to ask the GR Performance Division to present a better a battery powered uh, people mover. Keep in mind that car makers don't always announce their projects in advance, especially Toyota. Toyota and Subaru could surprise us by showing something that's not even on our radar. Uh, radar. Uh, all of our questions will be answered on April 5th when the mystery model make their models make their global debut online. Before then, Subaru will show a more rugged evolution of the Outback called Wilderness. It will be introduced online too during a presentation scheduled for March 30th. So friends, as you can see, um, between March 30th and April 5th or April 15th, we will have some very interesting uh, automotive news coming from Toyota, Subaru, and also some announcements from Mercedes as well, as I reported this morning. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Friends, please subscribe to our channel for daily electric Tesla, Toyota, and Subaru news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day. And if you found these reports uh, useful and informative, please uh, give us thumbs up, like this video, and share in social media, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and so on. We would greatly appreciate or Reddit. Have a great day. Peace be with all of you.